estou muito feliz de poder apresentar a Universidade de Offenburg para vocês. Bem-vindos uh, e bom dia e good morning a todos que estão me escutando, escutando agora. Uh, eu vou um, primeiro fazer uma pequena apresentação para vocês. Uh, eu tenho que falar que essa apresentação vai, vai ser em inglês, uh, porque também uh, o meu foco de, dessa apresentação vai ser os nossos programas que oferecemos em inglês. Mas, como o Ben já falou, vocês estão muito bem-vindos de fazer as perguntas em, em português depois. Uh, então, sim, ficam com a gente e fazem todas as perguntas que vocês querem. Meu nome é Lídia, eu trabalho aqui para a Escola de Pós-Graduação da Universidade de Offenburg. E essa é, Escola de Pós-Graduação é uma escola de programas internacionais. Uh, nisso, vou me enfocar durante a apresentação, que vou abrir para vocês agora. Espero que vocês podem ver o meu screen agora. Eu vou também uh, mudar para apresentação. Assim? Está bem? Perfeito. Ok. Então... Primeiro, um, well, bom, eu mudo para o inglês agora, desculpe. I would like to invite you to, to have a short look at the general dates, uh, general facts of Offenburg University uh, at first, uh, I, giving you a little bit uh, of an introduction and, and just general overview of what Offenburg University is all about, what you can expect here. And then I will uh, go into a little bit more detail about our international master's degree programs that we can offer for you. Um, so actually, if you look at that picture, you see exactly what uh, the view I have when I look out of my window on the left, because that's the view out of my window here. And it shows the campus of Offenburg. Um, the University of Am Offenburg actually has two campuses. The main campus, as the name already says, is situated in the city of Offenburg, and that's where I am sitting right now, too. But on this picture here, on this slide, on the top, uh, you see the um, yeah, monastery building. It's a Benedictine, it used to be a Benedictine monastery, which is now uh, the seat of our uh, business-related programs, and uh, this um, This campus is situated in the city of Gengenbach, which is about uh, eight kilometers from here. So it's not very far, but these are the two main campuses of Offenburg University. And Offenburg as a city and Gengenbach as well are both situated in the southwest of Germany. So that's where you find us. So if you decide to come here, you will, will be very close to the border of France uh, and also to the border Uh, of Switzerland. Uh, we are about half an hour away from Strasbourg, which is a, a seat of the Europe, where we have the seat of the European Parliament, and it's already in France. Uh, and one and a half hour it takes to go to Basel, which is already in Switzerland. So here in the southwest of Germany, you are also in one of Germany's strongest economic regions. Uh, and this is really helpful especially if you want to look for practical trainings or a job after your, uh, your, your graduation at Offenburg University. We had less than 3% unemployment rate last year, so we're very happy to have many uh, different possibility, job possibilities uh, in this region. There are many big names around, as for example, Mercedes or Porsche, but also you know, names that are not that known maybe, but they're also work, uh, companies that are working very international and that offer many interesting jobs for graduates who have an international background. So for example, Herrenknecht is one company right next to, very close to Offenburg University, who is working, who, had, who sends uh, professionals to all over the world because they're doing tunnel systems Or Border is one of the biggest media companies uh, in Europe, is right next to the university, basically, uh, where, it where they have their headquarters. 
but also many small and medium-sized companies uh, that you don't even know the name. It's a real cross-national metropolitan area. So you have Strasbourg on one side, you have Karlsruhe, which is just a, an hour, half an hour away, Freiburg, a half an hour away, and Offenburg in the middle. Offenburg is a smaller town of about 60,000 inhabitants, so it feels quite uh, comfortable and small, and still you have all the uh, necessary, um, yeah, everything that you need. You have hospital, uh, university, uh, all the um, shops, uh, and yeah, so it's, it's, it combines um, the facilities of a big city from one on one hand, and on the other hand, you have the atmosphere of a small city where people know each other, um, a small university where you're not only a name, but you really have this uh, family atmosphere here, uh, small groups of people, and you can have the short distances of a small city too. So this is very uh, nice for, for your studies also because you can do almost everything by foot or by bike. Nevertheless, it's a dynamic region with high employment prospects. I already mentioned that. And you have extraordinary living standard here. I think this is something uh, that's also very, um, yeah, a, an important point why many people choose to live here. I personally came back to Offenburg after many years abroad too, uh, because I just love the fact that I have the Black Forest Mountains on the one hand, where you can go for hiking. It's a very beautiful uh, mountain area where many people um, spend their time, uh, their vacation time too. It's a very touristic area. And on the other hand, you have the Rhine Valley with the cities and the border with the French and um, Swiss cities close by too. So yeah, and I personally prefer, especially in summertime, I prefer to do everything by bike and Therefore, I really enjoy the fact that I have this um, cycling um, ways all over. And yeah, that's really is a benef very big benefit for me. And I think it's also part of this living uh, standard that we have here. But now let me go into the more detail about the university. We are University of Technology, Business and Media. So we do focus on only these three areas. We do not offer medicine, for example, or other um, areas uh, that are not in, in these three focuses, um, because these are the areas we're really good in, and that's what we also focus in. As we were founded in 1964, we are one of the oldest universities of applied sciences here in uh, Germany, especially in southwest of Germany, and as a name, Applied Sciences already tells you, we offer praxis-oriented studies, which means that we just have a little bit more hands-on approach than, uh, universe, than the comprehensive big universities that might, may have, you know, great names, but you, for, you have, yeah, less uh, practical approach. And as I mentioned before, um, you will, might have a very big um, classes. I personally, for example, studied in some classes together with hundreds of other students. So the professor definitely won't know you. But here we have uh, smaller classes uh, and therefore uh, it's a completely different atmosphere. Around 4,200 students are enrolled right now, uh, 300, sorry. Uh, and 12 percent, around 12 percent of them are international students, many of them studying in one of our international master's degree programs. About half of our programs are bachelor programs and the other half are master's degree programs. And we offer um, also many possibilities for our students to go abroad. We are very happy to have uh, this international atmosphere here at our campus with many international students from all over the world coming and studying with us. But we also want our students to go abroad and therefore we keep corporations with 80, uh, more than 80 universities worldwide um, and also three uh, Brazilian universities. 
At the same time, we also keep a, uh, have a spacious enterprise network, which means that we are in a close contact with the industry, with the companies here in this region. Many research projects, for example, are done together. And um, you definitely enjoy when you're living here, when you're studying here, a safe and friendly environment. I personally uh, walk uh, through the streets at any time of the day and night without being afraid. Uh, and I know I felt quite different sometimes when I was walking through the streets in Sao Paulo. So I, I know the difference and I really enjoy that a lot. If you decide to come here, you can also count on very well equipped laboratories and facilities. Uh, this is something that uh, is especially of interest for you if you decide to study in one of our in English engineering programs, because uh, in this case, I'm sure you also want to try out uh, what you're studying on in the laboratories with the equipment, with a state of the art uh, technology. And therefore, these laboratories are not only there for our staff members or professors, they're definitely there for our students that they can try out uh, what they have learned in class, they can do their uh, research on their own, they can do their research for the master thesis, for example, also. So, um, yeah, the laboratories uh, are really important and they are there for you. And as we have this close connection to the industry, I'm sure you will also have possibilities for practical training if you uh, take the chance and apply, if, uh, if this is something you would like to do. Um, there are many possibilities around here. And I already mentioned that you can count on this small student teacher ratio here with the personal attention from the professors. So this is also typical for universities of applied sciences and in our graduate school for our international master's degree programs. We even assure you that we do not admit more than 20 to 25 students usually per batch so that you can really have this close contact with your fellow uh, students, but also with the professors and ask your questions directly during class and so on. And something I would personally um, find very important for me if I choose to study again uh, is the fact that in at Offenburg University, uh, the professors have to have at least three years of experience of from outside of the academic career. So from outside of the university, they have to have worked in a private company uh, for at least these three years. If not, they cannot become professor here at Offenburg University. And they, therefore they can bring this experience back to the university, share it with the students and also keep these contacts and also the students can benefit, benefit from that. And this is definitely something different in many big uh, comprehensive universities where you will find uh, many professors that have stayed all their professional career in a university or maybe even in the same university. Nevertheless, although we are University of Applied Sciences, you can also pursue a doctoral degree uh, in uh, the uh, areas where uh, Univers Offenburg University is, has a research focus in. We actually have around 60 uh, PhD students here at Offenburg University right now, uh, which yeah means if, if you graduate from here and you really want to go for a PhD, uh, you, you, yes, there are some possibilities here and you can apply for them. We do that together with other universities here in this region or with research institutes in this region too. Uh, and it's very, um, in a few years, we will probably have the right to have to also grant you the doctoral degree uh, ourselves at Offenburg University. So far, they are just supervised here and they get the official degree then from the other uh, universities, but that will probably change in the next few years. Because Offenburg is very famous for its um, it's uh, applied research. It's one of the strongest universities of applied research in southwest of Germany. It has been uh, among the first five uh, 
ranked universities in that area during the last years. And we also have a lot of student projects where students can already get involved in research. Uh, and I just put a few examples here on that slide, which have been some very successful projects in the last years. You see that there are many different um, topics uh, that the, these research projects are dealing with. And it's always a lot of fun for our students to participate in these projects because you can work in a very interdisciplinary way with students from other areas. You work on a common goal together. Uh, and it's also usually a very international team too. And you can usually participate in competitions. So it's a lot of fun. And for example, our Robo, Humanoid Robo, part always participates in the Robo Cup, which has taken place in Japan, Canada, Australia. Uh, so the whole team gets to travel there and yeah, so it's really a great, uh, they also have a great time together besides all the work that they have, but it's, it's also great to great experience. And these yeah teams are just some examples that have been very successful and the Robo, for example, has been wise world champion in uh, the Robo Cup. Uh, it's a Robo playing football actually soccer you would say in in the states so uh yeah they have been wise world champion in role the only year that uh, this didn't take place was 2020 when the pandemic situation didn't allow it but in 2022 um the whole concept was reworked and they did it on a virtual base and again with all the new challenges that made it that they were wise world champion again <laughs> so we're just waiting that we are champion one day, but we always are the wise world champion. <laughs> Anyhow, there's also another uh, event for our students that is very interesting every year, which is the International Film Festivals, where our media uh, students that are studying in the area of media and film are presenting their uh, works. And also young professionals and students from Switzerland, France, uh, and the whole big area here are participating. It's become a real uh, international, very um, famous event here at in, in Offenburg. So this is also a great event, especially for those who want to study in the area of media. But now let me go a little bit more into detail into our international master's degree programs, uh, which are offered by the graduate school. Our most traditional program here on this list is communication and media engineering. I will present them to you in the chronological order. And this program has even won uh, the, the prize to be one among the top 10 international master's degree Three programs made in Germany uh, by the DAD some, some years ago. So it's our most traditional and very successful program combining communication, IT, and media technology in a very unique and interesting way. And it's always been updated to the newest needs of the market. So if you want to be, for example, an engineer uh, working in the area of media technology in the future and you're coming, for example, from the background of electrical engineering or IT, this is a very interesting program to have a look at and I think, uh, yeah, it prepares you perfectly for this um, professional market. Another very traditional and successful program is our MBA, International Business Consulting. So if you already have professional experience, at least of two years of professional experience, for example, in project leading projects in the area of engineering or other areas, and you want to go one step further in your career and go into the man uh, management uh, of um, yeah, project management in general and um, management consulting maybe, so then this uh, program prepares you perfectly for that and will be a great help for your next step uh, and uh, your next big step in your career. 
This program has even been stated twice among the top uh, emer emerging MBA programs by QS Top MBA. So you can really be sure that you can expect a very good quality here with this MBA program and with a very good price at the same time too. Our program, Renewable Energy and Data Engineering, is uh, also very, um, it's, it's quite actually a, a quite traditional program, it, but it used to have a different name because it was remodeled a little bit some years ago due to the fact that uh, they realized also because of this close connection to the industry that we have, that the future uh, professional in the energy sector will have to have not only knowledge about energy generation and energy conversion, but also all the knowledge that you need to have to deal with the energy nets, which are becoming more and more important. And therefore, this program combines in a very unique way this knowledge about energy systems, smart grids and underlying algorithms with modern IT and data engineering methods. So if you're an engineer coming from mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or also uh, from the IT area and you have a focus in energy already and you want to go here one step further uh, and really be prepared perfectly for the future energy market, then this is definitely a master's degree program you should have a look at. Our program Process Engineering uh, is a very interesting, very European double degree program where you will actually end up with a German-Polish double degree program. So it's designed for um, individuals who are coming, for example, from a bachelor's degree of chemical engineering or something similar. Uh, and you will find here in this program a focus in chemical and thermal process engineering, biotechnology or food technology. So if you're really interested in a very international program where we will not only stay in one European countries, but in two European, different European countries, this is a really interesting program. Uh, you will spend the first semester here at Offenburg University in Germany. And then the second semester, you will already study uh, a few months at our partner university in Poland, in Olsten. So you will actually get the experience of two European countries, two different university systems too. And after only one year, you will be able to choose where you will do your third semester because the third semester is reserved for your master thesis. This is actually the case for most of our programs. Uh, but in this uh, case, you, you have really the freedom, for example, to do your master's thesis in Poland or in Germany with company or research institute that you uh, decide or that you uh, find a project that fits to you. So actually, I have to admit, most students come back to Germany for the master thesis because um, they prefer to do their master thesis together with the company. That's also the same for all other programs. It's possible to do your um, master thesis in a project in a company, and then you will be supervised by uh, a research um, responsible uh, person in the company, and at the same time by a professor of the university. And many of uh, the students choose to do that, and as there are more places in company projects, in, in projects and companies, research projects and companies, as in Poland, uh, most of them actually come back uh, and do their master thesis, their third semester back in Germany. But I've known, you know, students who have stayed in Poland too, or they have gone to um, companies in Switzerland. Uh, so that's all possible. Our next program, biotechnology, is actually exactly the same structure as process engineering. So again, the first semester, you will stay here at Offenburg University in Germany. Second semester, you will be in Poland with our partner university in Olsten. And the third semester, you will choose where you will do your master thesis. And then 
yeah, present your master thesis and end up uh, after the third semester with your graduation in Germany. So you end up again with a, a degree from Germany and at the same time from Poland. And last but not least, our most, uh, our newest program is the program Enterprise and IT Security. Uh, so if you are already coming from a bachelor's degree, which has a focus in IT uh, system, securing IT system, and you really want to uh, put your focus into that in your master's degree and yeah, you will de uh, deal with all the topics uh, relevant to technical, organizational and legal aspects of securing IT system then this is definitely the perfect program for you to look to have a look at and to go for. What do you need to do to be able to study at Offenburg University? We are a state university, uh, so we uh, have uh, you know the same procedures as uh, for the application processes as in other universities too. But for our grad. Uh, Ma international master's degree programs, we definitely do the whole application process here at uh, the university itself. So that makes it a lot easier for you to apply and to have a direct contact to the responsible persons at the university. The first step, you just go into our application portal and put your on, uh, yeah, send your online application to the program that you are interested in. It just requires, you know, you know, a little bit of time to put your personal data in, to upload your transcript and yeah, just a few information that you're asked for. And then you will already uh, get a, uh, a um, response after some, you know, respective time. You will get a response if your degree and your um, background fits with the program because then you are invited to participate in the second step of the application process and only then you are asked to in, uh, to upload some other documents additional documents that prove uh, your um, your, qual uh, your your um, your educational background your language knowledge uh, and other experiences that you put in. Uh, and then certainly there will be a selection process and the selection committee at the end will choose the best students uh, among the application that they received. And as I said, we do not admit more students than uh, having around 20 to 25 students per batch per program at the end. The application deadline is always at, in March, at March 31st for all the engineering programs. Only the MBA programs allows you to apply a little bit later. This is because our all the programs start in October with the lecture, the lecture period. And you just have to count the time until, you know, you, until you get the when you get the um, admission, you you have to apply for the visa as fast as possible because it is the time that you will need to do all the visa process uh, to prepare yourself uh, and uh, yeah have enough time so that you actually can be here for your, the start of the lectures. I have to admit that during the pandemic, um, the last two years, this has been a little bit difficult that uh, students um, weren't, you know, could be here for the start of the lecture. And therefore, uh, the last two years, we had to change a lot to online lectures, also because of the, in, in order to prevent um, the pandemic to spread here in, in Offenburg, many things were, were uh, taught online. But now we are back to presence and uh, we want you to really to be here in presence again by the beginning of October. 
because this is also part of the experience and part of the fun that you have that you really study here in Offenburg and that you're not only participating online classes in Rio or Sao Paulo, wherever you are, uh, and actually do not have this experience to be in a foreign language. That wouldn't be the sense of it. What are the requirements to apply? I already mentioned that you have to have a bachelor's degree that fits to the master's and certainly the selection committee will also look at the grades, but this is not the only criteria they will look at. Uh, they will also look at the, you know, the subjects that you had, if they fit with the demands of the master, if you have other experiences in this area. So yeah, there's no specific uh, great point average asked, but we just, you know, you certainly have a better uh, chance if your grade is a good grade in comparison with others. Um, we ask for English language certificate because all the programs are taught in English. Um, you have to have a minimum IB TOEFL 79 or IELTS 6.0 in each tested field. And one program also asks for um, German knowledge already before you apply, which is our program Renewable Energy and Data Engineering. Because this program actually offers some German taught pro, uh, classes in the second semester, and therefore you have to have German knowledge equivalent to B1 uh, before you start your studies here. All the other programs do not expect any German knowledge but certainly it's always recommendable uh, if you have a little bit of knowledge before you come because it, then it's just easier to get to know people and to integrate, um, but it's not necessary for your studies. As I mentioned, we are a state university here and the state actually asks for tuition for non-European citizens. Uh, so for the Engineering programs, you pay 1,634 euros per semester. And um, for the uh, citizens of the European Union, you only pay 284 euros per semester. So that's a great difference. Yeah, if you do not have a um European citizenship, I'm afraid you have to count with these um, tuitions for international students. But yeah, it's definitely still worth it. So don't hesitate because of that. There are also a few scholarships for our students. So we are allowed to exempt 5% of our students from this tuition fee. And there are also a few partial scholarships that you can apply for. Um, which are just a little small help, you know, paid once uh, in the semester, for example. But I have to admit that you cannot count with these scholarships and they are only available for students who are already studying here, which means you can only apply when you're already here in the first semester and they can look at your performance here uh, in the class uh, in, at Offenburg, in, the, in your program at Offenburg University. And therefore, it's not possible for the first semester, but only for students from the second semester on. Certainly, the MBA has a different fee structure than the engineering programs. Um, it actually has a, the highest fees in the first semester, then it's a little bit less in the second, and then less uh, in the third. It's again less than in the second semester. But altogether, the fees for the MBA program count together to 11,252 euros for the three semesters. And you're happy that you're from Latin America in this case, because the only scholarship that exists for this MBA is for students from Latin America through uh, our partner, the Fundacion Beca. So if you're interested in that, you can apply through Funda for, to Fundacion Beca at first, and then you get a little help for your travel and also a reduction in the, in, the, um, in the fees that you have to pay. But what else do we offer for our international students? We have many support services actually. 
uh, that you can count on, which are very unique in comparison with other uh, universities. And we even participated in a survey some years ago, with, which was also sub, um, supported by the DAD. Many German universities participated and we were very happy to hear and to, to get the feedback that our international students at that time gave us uh, because we were at the end number one in the arrival assistance for international students among all these participating universities. So yeah, we were very, very happy to get that feedback, but we always continue to try to improve that even more. And one of these services that you can count on is therefore that we have an assistance here for you that will help you in finding accommodation so that you do not arrive without knowing where to stay, but you will already be picked up by a senior buddy um, at the train station who will lead you to the room that uh, has already been reserved for you. And yeah, and he also, the senior buddy is also there for you to ask if you have questions before you come, you can also, besides, you know, asking us and the staff of the university, you can also turn to this uh, experienced student and ask, you know, from his point of view, his uh, opinion. And certainly there are also orientation events. Um, so besides the senior buddy who will, you know, give you orientation during the first few days here at Offenburg University, you will also have the official events where you get all the information in the first few days. So you can really start with everything, uh, with all the knowledge that you need to be able to have a successful um, study here, study time. And the each program, and this is also unique uh, and not, you will not find it in many universities uh, that offer a program, similar programs. We have a coordinator uh, for each of these programs. And this coordinator is there for you for any questions and he will really individually support you and advise you throughout all your uh, study time here at Offenburg. Additionally, there are German, is a German summer language school offered in September. And I recommend all of you, if you decide to come here to participate in this German summer language school, because it's a great possibility to learn some German, to improve your German during an intensive uh, school yeah, course uh, during one month. And at the same time, you will get to know everything. You will get to know um, many classmates, many other international students, have a great time together with excursions and get togethers and so on. And once, you know, by the end of the September, you will really feel uh, that you know everything that you had, you know, you already made friends with other students and it's a great start therefore uh, into your studies here at Offenburg. We also encourage you to continue with uh, studying German during the lecture periods. And therefore we offer always German classes at different levels so you are very welcome to continue um, and, and study German during your lecture period too. And certainly um, some of the programs even require uh, that you participate in the German classes. But we do not only want you to have success in your programs uh, and your studies, we also want you to have a good time here at Offenburg and therefore we offer a cultural and social programs with excursions, with get togethers, um, many different activities that you can join in and they really make your time as valuable here that yeah, we want you to have such a great time here that you always uh, like to remember the, the good time that you had here at Offenburg and yeah, your good time here during your studies um, with your classmates, with the excursions and everything that you could do during that time. There are also sports offered, certainly. Um, my favorite is always the sailing group. Uh, there's um, Offenburg University has a little ship here on the lake just next by where you can participate in the sailing group. Uh, 
but it's also, you know, a great possibility to go mountain biking in the Black Forest Mountains. So a lot of outdoor possibilities, but also indoor, like dancing or um, Pilates or whatever. So any any sports offered, you're very welcome to participate in. And a special initiative is our senior service. This is actually an initiative bringing together senior citizens and international students. It's just a group of people, of elderly people here from the city of Offenburg uh, that join on a voluntary basis in order to welcome international students here in Offenburg to, to help them to integrate, to get to know something else than only university life, but that you get contact with citizens here from Offenburg, that they can get to know the culture and they're also very interested in your culture. So, for example, the first uh, in the first few weeks you're here, you're very welcome to participate in the International Evening, which is part of the cultural program, and present your, your country with uh, your own way uh, to, to present it with music or dance or whatever. And yeah, the, our senior uh, service members are always very happy about this event because they're really interested in you and your, in your culture and they really look for an exchange. And I know that many, uh, they have, you know, many friendships have grown from these um, contacts and these um, between students and senior service members. So that some students felt almost like part of the family and it's really a great initiative. So especially Brazilian students actually, I feel, uh, are really happy about this initiative and really uh, take advantage of it. By the end of your studies, you certainly are welcome to participate in our job application trainings. And there's also a big recruiting event at the university, which grows every year. And it really shows a great interest of the industry of the company in the graduates of Offenburg University. And last but not least, we want to keep in contact with you after your graduation too. So therefore we have our international alumni network, but not only for us to keep in contact with you, but also especially for you to keep in contact with each other uh, and be able to network with each other, among each other. And therefore we also have a portal and we are very happy if you participate in the events that we organize for you once in a while. So let me sum up again. If you come to study at the Graduate School of Offenburg University, you can count on English taught programs, which are taught in small groups. You will have a very intercultural experience because students from all over the world come to study here. And you can count on comprehensive individual services. And I'm sure once you finish your studies and you graduated from Offenburg University, you will also have excellent career opportunities. But now let me go and show you uh, just another um, little video that I brought for, uh, with me for you because during our last alumni event, he actually asked just a few questions to our alumni that participated in that event. And we put that together in this little video that I will um, show you now. And I think it just reflects a little bit better than my words and than I can do um, how what is important for students um, and how they yeah they feel about Offenburg University. So I hope this works. Let me know if you have any problem to hear, but I come from Colombia. I'm coming from Bangladesh. I come from Can India. You hear it? Uh, I'm originally from Bolivia. I come from Bogue, from the capital, uh, Sofia. I'm from Italy. I'm from India. I'm from Turkey, Istanbul. I'm from Mexico. Because it was offering one of the best combinations of courses in energy conversion and management, and it was offering a great atmosphere to study and offering services like senior service, which was very important for me so that I can get to know the German culture, the German people and the language even more. And most 
uh, one of the best things I found that I come from such a crowded big city in India so it would be beautiful to spend nice beautiful time in a smaller town. Learn um, a lot and focus a lot about the, the topic that I really wanted to study so I just applied and get my admission. Well, I choose it because I actually actually got very interested in the, in the master program. The curriculum was really interesting for me and what it was offered was was actually matching what I was expecting to, to have. I got very interested, but then nevertheless, it was a small city, I just choose it and I don't regret about it. The people, the course, the studies, the text, the literature is same everywhere, but there was something about the people from Germany and the other countries that I met here. They made this experience the most beautiful. Uh, studying at Oppenburg University for me, the most important thing is the environment, and uh, I also love the uh, way of teaching here. And people here are very friendly, so it's get, it's very nice to get into this university and uh, match up yourself from uh, from your home culture to the another different European culture here. So that's that's a big difference which matters a lot for me. I think the flexibility and the integration that you have uh, to use your knowledge into the industry here in the German culture. The distances and the accessibility was, was really good. I, I love it. It was a very nice environment as well. The international students were, were pretty cool around and with the senior service was fun as well. So it was a very nice mix to the mix and the, the the fact to be in a small city was fun. So to be honest, at the beginning it was kind of small city for me after Istanbul. So I've, I've thought like, okay, so what to do here? But then I realized that in this international program and international atmosphere, we just became a big international family because living in such a small place and it just gave us chance to connect each other that strongly so we are still here and we get together and share a lot of memories and we are still the same actually so I'm really great. To go to the university by bike and not take a train and a subway and so on. Just a small town but very uh, human friendly town. For me to think big you can basically do whatever you want to do. Uh, of course, you have to work hard for that, but uh, there is no limits. And uh, if you get the chances, then you can reach uh, great things. Yeah? To be open-minded. This was uh, to never say it's too late to start a new thing. Really to be flexible and begin a new point. It's never too late to start to learn something new. I learned that I should not generalize uh, how I think about other people and have no prejudices. I can make beautiful relationships with people from all over the world. Doesn't matter their backgrounds, their skin color, their their religion or anything, and I could just be friends with anybody I want, and and uh, and have a great life anywhere uh, in the world. Okay, I live in Düsseldorf. I work nearby Leverkusen in an automotive sector company. I'm project manager of a team of 25 people. I'm the youngest one. I'm the only foreigner there. Uh, we do coatings for engines for cars, for pistons and rings. My job is to bring technologies that has been developed in other parts of Germany to my plant. Um, and everything has to work in there. I'm working as software engineer lead in uh, Capgemini. This is the biggest uh, consulting company in Europe. And um, right now I am uh, how to say it? I'm working with a multinational project and I live in Stuttgart. Advice to dare to go for what they want, to be to follow their dreams and to have this international experience. You have the, the questions of, about what are you going to live abroad. Um, nobody will have the answer, so you have to leave it on your own and just go for it. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. mm, I will tell them that uh, they, they, they have to try to come here because it's uh, often is a small city, 
but also it uh, opens you a lot of, uh, of doors. There is a lot of industries here, automobile industry. We have a lot of great uh, uh, new companies that are building software that are, uh, SAP is near here also. So there is a lot of opportunities. This is, uh, I think, the most important. There are a lot of opportunities here around. Yeah? We advise them to come here with open hearts and open minds and try to make the best out of the opportunity they get at studying in Offenburg. This is a beautiful place, a beautiful university, and with really, really great people. And they have to use this uh, to, to uh, change how they think about the world. And it will change. Uh, once you study outside abroad, it will change how you think about the world. So my advice to people here is come, enjoy, have a great time, and get the most you can from this wonderful opportunity that Offenburg offers you. Bom. Eu acho que isso deu um pouco uma impressão um, como é estudando aqui em, em Offenburg. Agora, eu espero que vocês gostaram da apresentação. Muito obrigada pela atenção. E eu gostaria agora de receber as suas perguntas. Eu espero que vocês tenham muitos agora. E se, bom, por qualquer... Um, se vocês depois, de um momento depois, lembram que vocês esqueceram de perguntar algo, vocês também sempre podem me escrever, eu coloquei agora nesse último slide o meu, o meu endereço por que vocês, de e-mail. Bom, muito obrigada, eu quero convidar vocês realmente de vir para Offenburg, é realmente um lugar... Uh, onde vocês podem criar, um, uh, fazer tudo que, um, um, para o seu futuro, um, é preparar para uma profissão que vocês um, querem fazer. Bom. Eu acho que com isso a gente chega então no final. Obrigado para todo mundo que ficou até aqui, até agora. Um, acho que foi uma sessão super informativa, super interessante e com muitas informações e dados que são importantes eu acho que espero que vocês tenham ficado com mais vontade de se aplicar para estudar na Reis Offenburg as informações aqui para contato da Lídia também e do da Reis Offenburg estão na apresentação então não hesitem em contactar eles que eu acho que eles podem analisar cada caso estão também super preparados e abertos para responder todas as perguntas e dúvidas de vocês a qualquer hora, seja da cidade, da universidade ou do processo de aplicação. Eu acho que é importante o que você falou também, fazer com antecedência, né? porque são documentos, são, são processos, então se preparem para isso e comecem o quanto antes. E também investir no alemão agora já, para quem sabe daqui a final do ano ou no ano que vem está entrando, vocês já terem um alemão que vai ficar super bom lá, super dicas valiosas também. Então, agradeço a todos, muito obrigado por participar, então eu vou te dar as palavras finais, Lídia, se você quiser mandar alguma mensagem ainda, e desejo a todos um ótimo dia ainda. Bom, muito obrigada pela oportunidade de novo, Ben, e pela uh, excelente moderação dessa, dessa sessão agora, e muito obrigada a todos que, uh, por, por aten pela atenção e pelo interesse, Uh, espero te ouvir de vocês de novo e espero te poder receber vocês um dia aqui em Offenburg. Obrigada.